and the 2021 African Cup of Nations tournament is gradually drawing to a close with loads of memory and excitement just as the competition did come with its own downsides. Now certain players and their relatives became victims of cyberbullying for not meeting expectations during the tournament, thus prompting the call for the perpetrators of these acts to be brought to book so as to serve as a deterrent to others. News Central's Bennett Akere has more on the story. Nigeria's Super Eagles goalkeeper, Maduka Okoye, trended on social media for his good looks at the beginning of the Nations Cup tournament. But following the goal he conceded, which led to the exit of the team against Tunisia, the 22-year-old became a victim of cyberbullying. Cyberbullying, to put it in that context, is a form of bullying or harassment that happens through electronic or digital means, you know, either with the use of phones or computers or any other related means. Sometimes, the victims are not the only ones threatened or bullied. It extends to their relatives and friends. Former Super Eagles captain J.G. Okocha was also threatened when Nigeria got knocked out after his nephew, Alexi Wobi, was given the marching orders following a needless tackle. In Freetown, angry fans were stopped from destroying the house of Sierra Leone star striker Kei Kamara after he missed a crucial penalty as the Leone stars crashed out of the AFCON 2021. Like Madika Okoye, many victims have either deactivated comments on their social media handles or completely left certain social media platforms. Obviously, when you're an investigative journalist and you tell stories that people don't necessarily want to be told, it's, uh, it's, it causes problems. So as, as a result of those problems that it causes, people come after you in all sorts of ways. People have tried to use uh, things my personal life against me, they constantly uh, make references to, to my divorce, for example. You know, but first of all, I learned to restrict this, the amount of time that I just I interact with the, with the social media world. The effect of cyberbullying is highly, highly enormous. It can lead to um, low self-esteem, you know, on, on the victim. And then another one is the fact that the victim tend to withdraw either from family and then try to spend time alone. Because some of the, the things that happen is that the bully try as much as possible to render um, you know, the person who is the victim now, either psychologically, emotionally, or even in court, physically, because... It Questions are now being asked about what can and should be done to protect people from social media bullying and deter others from engaging in the act. Or any form of threat that affects the overall health condition of any human being is a threat and is a crime in one way or the other. So. Cyberbullying itself is a criminal offence and in, in our country, I think a lot should be looked into it. Issues like these are part of the reason why governments of some countries put heavy restrictions on social media and with Nigeria just coming out of one of such restrictions, discussions surrounding social media regulation are not far away. Bernard Akede, New Central Lagos. Quite uh, an insightful report from Bernard Akede here on New Central. Taking a look at, uh, I mean, uh, people seeking uh, for stricter measures, uh, not just victims, but everyone is starting to talk about uh, cyberbullying, which happens to be a major problem right now, especially for users of social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you name them. Uh, it's been a lot, trust me. I agree, um, especially during the AFCON. I mean, we saw how some people, some fans got so obsessed and got, got so upset that when a player did not um, reach up to their expectation, they would in some cases go to the houses. Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw a video of that where they went to the house of this particular football footballer and they were almost burning down the house just because they felt he did not meet up to the expectation. It's a, it's a big problem. It Obviously, is it's a big happen. problem. Now, some of them are now taking it off social media and bringing it to their personal life. That's right. Uh, Sweden is actually known to uh, have the highest, the highest number of... Um, um, attacks, especially coming from cyberbullying, and that's um, outside of Africa. But in Africa, South Africa seems to top the list and it's no doubt uh, going to reduce anytime soon. So there are questions upon questions and people asking what should be done next. <music>